coming to you from the Bahamas. All right, so quick tip of the day is to get engaged to an amazing wedding photographer that will bring you down here. as a second shooter, and then you can get a little bit of a tan, lay on the beach, and do a little bit of work. All right, so now for the real tip, and that is to think about the why behind your images. And for example, think about where you're shooting from. What's your shooting position? A typical sports photography tip is to shoot from a low angle, uh, shooting up at the athletes a little bit, and it makes them look bigger, stronger, more athletic, and it's a great shooting position, but it doesn't always get you the best angle. So you wanna think about you know, what you're trying to tell, what image you're trying to capture. So next time you're at a game, you can look around before the game starts, before you start shooting, look around, try to find a position that you wanna go maybe shoot from. Right? Sometimes a good storytelling image or scene setting image will be from really high, really wide, and you can kind of convey what's happening at the event and then you move back to a position that's on the field and you're shooting low to the ground and getting good action imagery. So for example, when I was lucky enough to shoot at the World Series two years ago uh, in Boston, lucky enough that the Red Sox were in it and I had a chance to be one of the photographers for USA Today and there's actually three photographers shooting but we had them all in different areas to make sure that we would capture the best angles for each play. Right, so some plays look better from up above, some look better from the shooting position we had on the first base dugout side, and some storytelling images work great from out in center field where we had the third photographer. And not only actually did we have three photographers, we had two editors that we could send our images to. And they could choose which images worked best from which angle. If we all three sent the same image of someone swinging for a home run, maybe the guy celebrated by throwing the bat up and they were actually looking at me up in the stand so my angle might be better. Uh, or it was a right-handed hitter and they're looking off and the image from the first base side is actually better. The, so the editors can choose which image is better. And so you really got to think about, okay, what am I trying to convey? What am I trying to tell? And what images am I trying to get? And that will improve your sports photography by just going out there and testing out which angles you like, getting different types of images, and then you're not just showing the same action photo over and over again. All right, time to go jump in the ocean.